the second part of the awards. Um, I'm not going to walk on too long, but um, <laughs> I just think, you know, really, you know, 2012 has been, I think, just a fantastic year for this club. I think, you know, when you think we've had uh, the Outlaw this year, which I know we had probably 35, 40 people racing in, in forms of either individuals or teams supporting the foundation that, that has been set up, I guess, because of this club, raised... How much? I don't know. Was it in years? Really, roughly. From outboard, about eighteen thousand, but overall nearly thirty. Then. Almost thirty thousand pounds so far raised the Cat Green Foundation. <laughs> Something that will continue next year um, and will continue year on year, so it's stuff that hopefully we can just keep raising money. And that's all because, really, of the people that, that we're, we're all lucky enough to have in this club. And it is, there are so many good people that are involved that, that we can't tonight really cover every single person. I'll try and throw out names between awards to sort of say thanks, but we, we can't thank everybody. We'd love to, but our eyes. I think almost we'll be thanking everybody in the club for what they do because it is it is you people out there that make this club what it is. So thanks for that. So we'll get to the awards. Um, so our first one is uh, Rookie of the Year. Um, so this is somebody that again in our eyes probably hasn't really done triathlon in 2011. So this was really their first year in triathlon and has done something or a number of things that we as a committee just think sort of stand out there um, and this person is you know for me they, they, again very tight every every award that we give out tonight could have been given to three or four people so at the end of the day we just have to make a decision but I do think for me this is probably the right person to give it to so our 2012 rookie of the year is Matt <coughs> this year for the, the, the time and commitment that they, they put into this club and the Outlaw and the Cam Green and all that sort of stuff. Um, and we thought about having literally 50 awards and people just coming up and, and then we thought actually the problem with that is that we'll always miss somebody out and, and somebody may feel hurt by that so we thought actually we've just got to go for it and try and make a decision about somebody. Uh, and this person is someone that is just getting into triathlon, so gone from being uh, a parent, bringing their kids along, supporting their kids, being massively involved, and then suddenly deciding that actually we want to go at this, we want to have a go at this sport called triathlon, and, and, and for me, part of the reason we set this club up was, was for exactly this, so that people can come in at any level to feel part of something and, and develop. So our volunteer of the year for 2012 is... David.
probably, by the sound of the applause, it was probably the right person to give it to. Yeah, um, so our, our next award is, is somebody, um, I mean, the, the spirit of the club, and this is somebody that just really epitomises what this club is about. And for me, I guess when we set this club up, it was all about creating people like this. Um, and I think this person, for what they've done for this club, and, and I think specifically during the summer, it's just outstanding really and someone that I look up to and aspire to a little bit is uh, our spirit of the club is Pamela. Championships, and you know, this year when you think we've had people go to world champs, we've had people go to European champs, um, you know, and, and hopefully that continues. But it's not just about those people for me, it's always been about getting everybody just performing um, to the level uh, and probably beyond what anybody thinks. And I, you know, for me, this is just absolutely epitomizes what this club is about. So, our male triathlete of the year for their performance at Outlaw is Malcolm. shoulders above anybody else. Uh, performance at Outlaw was outstanding, first iron distance, then goes to the World Draft and Champs, does a self credit so I think it's obvious that's you. <laughs> Since it started, and you had to be male. 
Uh, and that was the only criteria that I set for the committee. And somehow, they still didn't come up with me. Which is just shocking, really. Um, and again, you know, we've got some great, great volunteers. And, you know, I could stand here, we've got Simon, we've got Casey, we've got everybody that really does give a massive amount of commitment to this club. Um, and without, you know, without the coaches, it just doesn't happen, really. Um, and it's something that when we started the club, I was very passionate about, and so was Jane. So it could go to anybody, but for this year, our coach of the year is Julie. Yeah. Championships. Um, so this is where this year, last year again, and this year we had the Airwash race as our uh, club championships. Just to let people know, get your uh, bookings in now for next year because it's going to be subtle. The first May event is going to be our club championships. We want as many people there as possible. Um, and again, what we do with this is that I go away and use some magic formula to work out age groups. So it doesn't matter whether you're 18 or 105, you can still win this award. Um, so we literally, I just, I worked out from previous events what the difference is between somebody wins at 20, somebody wins at 60. Works out loads of different percentages. And hopefully we come up with an answer, which we have done. Um, so that was from Airwash this year. So I'll ask Mick to come up on stage to prevent, to prevent, to present the current green. Um, so our winner of the Karen Green Trophy, which is our ladies club champion for this year, is Jane. Yeah. So same criteria, uh, this is for the John Anson Trophy, so obviously nice response of there from the power and stuff. Um, and this actually, this, this was a very, very close event as it, as it was last year. So I think our first person across the line was Dave Crossley, I think, if I remember rightly, uh, who actually came third in our After the recalculation, there was about 30 seconds gap to the next person who was, at, who was second this year, who won it last year, which was John Budworth. So was <laughs> and, uh, and now we're this year, and again, you know, absolutely epitomises what we try and do with, you know, getting everybody into the club. So our male club champion is Clive who I don't think is here, so I'll ask Pam to come and collect the award from Katie on his behalf. <laughs> so Clive was supposed to be here, but he's not, but Clive Haywood, who I think is about 60 plus, so in the end actually won it by Effective country mark, really. So, really good news that actually people at that age can really get involved and, and still win our club championship, which is great. So, that's the end of the awards, but I think really just to say, you know, there's so many people this year that I think have, have gone over and above, you know, from a volunteering point of view, putting effort into this club and everything that we could sit here for ages and thank everybody. So, I'll just say, 
I think thank everybody in this room, there's other people that aren't here, just give yourselves a round of applause.